What up, what up? It's your boy, the one and only KJ Raps. So this film is brought to you basically to tell you the difference between cast film and calendar film. And also, it's for educational purposes only. This video isn't to bash other vinyl rap companies, isn't to make any other vinyl rap companies look bad or anything like that. It's literally just to educate people on the different types of vinyls and how they work. So we are gonna get right into it. So I have a few vinyl wrap companies. I have a pile of cast film and a pile of calendar films. So I'm gonna show you a few of them right now. Orcal 970, we have 3M 2080, Aber Denison and KPMF. This is purple iridescent. This is caramel luster. This is gloss blue, gloss light blue. And this is um, a crazy, I call it cotton candy. So we have these, which are cast films. Here's our good stuff. Lightly see, this is Hexus. This is Vinyl Frog. Here, Inositech doesn't put the name on their backing, but this here is Inositech. And here we also have Tech Wrap. This is Tech Wrap. Uh, Ocean Blue, Cherry Blossom, Inositech. Great Purple from Vinyl Frog, Hexus, Glitter Pink. Go. As y'all saw, I just showed you guys the different type of companies that make calendar films and cast film. So now I'm going to explain to y'all the difference between calendar and cast and how they work. So we are going to start with calendar film. So how calendar film is actually made, it is basically like a ball of clay and it is smashed and stretched. And the downside of that, when you smash and stretch something, it has memory, so it wants to conform and go back to its original shape. So that's one of the main reasons why I kind of don't really like cal not cast, calendar film. Calendar film has a tendency when it sits out in the hot sun after you apply it to a vehicle, it could take a week or two, maybe even a month, but eventually some corners and some of that material is going to want to shrink because mind you, it's clay. It's a, it's a ball and they smash it down and stretch it out and turn it into vinyl. So I'm going to demonstrate to you on why and how it works. Like you don't even have to necessarily apply and like stretch the material you can literally, I'm literally gonna show you guys why it's gonna be crazy. I'll cut it out, I cut out a square. I'm not gonna stretch, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna just cut out the square, peel it up, sit it down, and I'm gonna heat it and just watch how it just shrinks without me stretching it or pulling it or any of that. Like it naturally shrinks on its own without even doing anything to it. Crazy part. This here is tech wrap materials. I'm basically going to peel the backing up. And I'm just going to sift the material just like that. Let's get it on here evenly. All right. Now, I got my heat gun. Now, watch how it just shrinks. My heat gun is really, really high. put this on here evenly now would you look at that you see there was no stretch there was nothing i just heated it up and look how much it stretched 
will not stretch, but shrink, but shrunk. Everything is on here. It was on here evenly, but this is literally the material shrinking without stretching it and shrinking it back. It naturally shrinks on its own. So this is what Tech Wrap does. We're going to move over to have in nose attack. Now I'm going to put this on here as evenly as I can. Just line it up. This has a very, it has a clear back. Now we're going to heat. As you can see, it was a little bit of a shrinkage, just barely. So for a nose attack to be a calendar film, it barely did anything compared to tech wrap and how it shrunk. So now we're going to move over to Hexus. Filling Hexus up. And we're gonna try to put this on here as evenly as we can. Looks good. Now we heat. It doesn't look like Hex has shrunk that much. It's a little uneven at the top, but it did shrink a little bit. Just barely. So that's Hex's pretty good material. But the only thing with Hex's, one of my customers has this wrap on their car. You have to literally heat this material up as soon as you apply it to a deep recess. If you don't heat it at the proper temperature it's going to start lifting and i didn't know anything about that so yeah that material i won't be working with that because it's a little more it's a lot you have to do in order to apply that one so we're going to move over to vinyl frog this here is vinyl frog material we lifted it up i'm going to place it back down and start heating Let's see what this does. You can see it's shrinking already. Look at that. It's just shrinking. Wow, as you can see how it shrunk and curled up. So yeah, that's basically it's shrinking. As you can see, how it shrunk here, shrunk on the sides here, has a clear backing. Clearly you can see it there and the bottom really shrunk a lot, a lot, a lot. So yeah, we'll put them in the category with tech wrap. All right, now we're going to move on to cast film. We peeled three of them up, and now we are going to move over. Well, let's get some heat them up.
branch shrunk. Uh, yeah, Graham shrunk a, a, a lot. In a decent amount. Hmm. And it's on there evenly, as you can see. That's just the material shrinking without stretching it or anything like that. Hmm. That's 3M2080 for ya. Now we move over to my favorite. Avery Dennison. We got Avery Dennison. Let's get it. And as you can see, you see that? It literally looks like liquid. You see how Avery Dennison looks like liquid? I'm gonna to explain to you the difference between cast and calendar, which are, you've heard, but I'm gonna to explain to y'all this one. But anyways, I can see Avery, Avery Dennison, barely any shrinkage at all. You got a little bit down here, but you compare it to, 3M, 3M shrunk a lot. Avery Dennison, barely any. All right, now we move, going to move over to Oracal. We're on to Oracal. Let's get the heat. at all kind of almost like Avery Dennison barely any maybe it might be a little bit better than Avery Let's put the two together Avery or Cal I say it might be about the same but they shrunk just a little now I'm going to explain how cast film is made and why a lot of vinyl wrappers in professional shops like to use cast film because on how it's made and how it's just a lot more easier to apply. So cast film is basically made, it's poured, it's a liquid. Literally, you pour it and it's flattened and that's basically how you make cast film and why a lot of vinyl wrappers like to use cast film compared compared to calendar film remember calendar film is like clay it's stretched out cast film is a liquid and it's poured for example i'm going to show you avery dennison on how i just heated it up really really hot and it literally looked like liquid and you poke it it literally feels like liquid. That's why a lot of people like Avery Dennison. It's a thinner film and it's more pliable. People say you're not, you can't really consider yourself a professional vinyl rapper if you use Avery Dennison because it's just so goddamn easy. Like CK Raps. One of the best vinyl rappers probably in the game, honestly. Do uses any and every fucking film. How? I have no idea, but he does. That's why I kind of idolize him a lot because he doesn't discriminate and he actually Hates, hates 3M. 3M is kind of bad when it's cold. You can't apply 3M when it's cold. If you do, and if you are applying 3M out in cold weather or in a garage or in a shop, it's literally going to rip compared to Avery Dennison. You can apply it, Avery Dennison in any type of weather and it's going to be perfectly fine. The stretch is perfectly fine. But yeah, like I said, calendar film versus cast film. A lot of people, I just thought I'd drop this video to educate a lot of people on the difference and why certain materials are actually, you know, kind of bad. I'm going to throw out, you know, another few vinyl wrap companies and films 
that are calendar film and if you have experienced shrinkage and discoloration it's because of certain calendar films that's just how it is so no shade on any of these companies we're gonna say um paradox raps his film is basically it's like tech rap it's literally just like tech rap same companies same manufacturers same everything so paradox raps is a calendar film um you got tiny bot their stuff is a calendar film and it shrinks just about the same as uh vinyl frog and uh tech rap so those two companies it's a few more that i can't really think of off the top of my head because i have most of them here but if i do i will drop another video explaining you know, talking more about those, but those two really pop out because those are new rap films that are out there and that a lot of people are ordering. And I've had a few people hit me up talking about, you know, certain discoloration on those films. No shade. This is only for educational purposes only. And I'm just explaining to y'all on why certain films hold up and why certain films don't. So calendar films will always lift over time if you're sitting them out in the heat and you see certain things and shrinkage it, it's it just what it is what it is because it's just that film compared to the cast film honestly i've probably maybe for the past two years i've been rapping i probably only had maybe a, two or three people ever come back to get touch-ups with avery dennison or 3m but for the most part I don't hear it from people at all. And when I apply tech rap or if I apply um, hexes, hexes consider um, a cast film, but I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I don't really think that's a cast film. I think that might be calendar because it's a certain way you have to put that one on. And I don't really like it, but yeah. So, you know, this video is for educational purposes only. I'm, only, I'm gonna say that because I know some people are probably gonna tag certain companies and say, oh, KJ Raps is bashing them. No, I'm just putting y'all on game on what vinyl raps to rap with and what vinyl raps to stay away from. Well, not really stay away from. It's kind of a personal preference on what you like to work with, but Avery and 3M are top tier and I will forever be grateful for them and using their materials on all my customers' cars. And I try to play around with different materials because if my customers ask for certain you know, companies and 3M or Avery don't really have that, colored then i'd be like okay cool i'll try it out but i always warn my customers i'd be like i don't know how this material is going to behave and act up once it's heated and etc and then sit on the sun yeah and also rap will never ever ever be perfect i don't give a damn what shop you go to or how good the person is a lot of shops do not post when people come pull up and need something touched up or you know this part starts lifting or that part starts lifting i'm telling you a lot of shops experience customers coming back and getting touch-ups over and over because that's just how raps are so i need y'all to understand that raps will never be a hundred percent i don't care who you go to like, I'm subscribed to the Rap Institute. I'm subscribed to uh, CK Raps. I'm subscribed to, um, and there's another person that I'm subscribed to that I watch a lot. And they put everything out there. CK Raps, for example, he wrapped a Acura, um, the new one, the uh, NSX. The Acura NSX, the, you know, the coupe. The fucking electric one with the motor and all the good shit. He did a chrome wrap on that whole thing. I'm gonna show y'all a video on that one. Well, that I wrapped about six to seven weeks ago in Hexus Super Chrome Gloss Blue. The car uh, is here because it has issues. And I wanna show you those issues and I'm going to try to decipher them the best that I can uh, and explain them to you and explain how I'm going to material this is basically a first a first for me i did show it on my check that out it's very bad it's terrible 
Oh, it's really bad. In here, like why all the way back to in there, it's not even in the sun. Why is that all bubbling up like this? Okay. Is it the heat? I mean, this seems to have only happened um, when it got warm out, and we've had some pretty hot temperatures lately. Here, all the way across the top, um, all the way down uh, to here even, like it's kind of like watery looking, it looks really weird. Uh, in here, guys, it's very pitted, so you can see the pitting in the film, look at that. That's not, that's not on top of the film, and that's not coming out of the film. That's actually now going in to the film, indentations. I don't know if I can feel them. really even feel them. So what is it that's happening? Okay, so that's that spot right there. I mean, look at my corner. My corners and everything are all holding up great. You know, there isn't any physical lifting of the actual film. This is just extremely strange. Like, look at this. This is a, a brutal bubble. Like, it just stares you in the face. A very expensive car, very expensive wrap, and it's really unfortunate for that to happen. On here, we have um, all this pitting in the film. Why? Why? What's happening here? While the mirror is totally fine. Fender, not so bad. Right here, again, it's not as uh, smooth and nice yep. looking as it is. As you can see, certain things lift up, bubble, peel, you know, all this. he's one of the best rappers in the game. But it's not to bash y'all or bash anybody. It's literally this video is for educational purposes only. And to put that out there, that raps, you know, Pill and bow, it, like shit happens. You're driving it continuously. You dogging it. You're sitting in certain type of temperatures, weather, all that good stuff. But anyways, as you can see, I'm KJ Raps, born and raised in Oakland, California, East Oakland at that. And you know, I'm an upcoming rapper. I'm just doing what I love. For a lot of people that don't know me, please like and subscribe and comment. And you know, I'm here. You feel me? Uh, been in the game for two years, still, you know, doing my thing. Uh, almost signed to the 49ers back in 2018, going into 2019, and then, you know, COVID hit. So I fell in love with Vinyl Rapper and after watching CK Raps, uh, Justin Page, the Rap Institute, and all these crazy, crazy, wonderful idols I inspired. And shout out to Vinyl Vixen. I flew out there with my wife for one of her work events and I visit their shop, they showed me everything like mind blown on how crazy, like they are probably one of the best rappers in the game. Like when it comes to custom raps, just, I'm just blown away on how good they are when it comes to door jams and yeah, that just, you know, Push me to keep going even harder and harder for 2022. Like I'm ready to do like crazy custom wraps, crazy door jams, you know, just chrome, just just everything. Just seeing them and how they operate and how they shop and just looking at their wraps and inspecting it. And I didn't see not one fucking flaw, which is crazy. But yeah, I'm out, man. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Educational purposes only.